Hi everyone, it's Finola Howard and this is Ask Finola How and we're actually at episode 50 today of the Ask Finola How series which was an idea that came about and I realised this this morning while I was preparing for this that that's nearly a year, you know, a year of consistently doing something every single week. Now there's been blips along the way in terms of timelines and things like that and not always hitting it on the mark but I like that I've done it consistently for 50 weeks and I kind of wanted to go yay <laughs> but I also kind of wanted to say you know we've got to celebrate all these milestones it's really important that we celebrate them but I also kind of wanted to reflect on what it meant like where was I a year ago from here with 50 episodes and the 50 the Ask Finola House series came from insights from clients that always loved when I knew that I was best answering questions live. So answering questions from clients anywhere, like at an event, on a podium, in an audience, anywhere. I was always best on the fly. And so the idea was, was to produce some, some content that was easy to do and stuff that I liked to do. That's one of the key learnings from producing 50 episodes at this point that you can be consistent with content that you like doing. I know it's a really simple statement to make, but I wanted to use this time to reflect on what are the learnings that I could share with you guys. And I know from experience that one of the greatest challenges when you uh, have a small business is, well, actually any size business is about consistency of content. So for me, the secret or what I've learned from this 50 episodes is that if you like producing this content in this way, then you have a greater chance of success and a greater chance of consistency if you actually like doing it. So that's my first insight to you. The second insight was, you know, the way there's always this reticence about going on video and being live. And I had a little of that because it was fairly new to me in terms of Instagram and stuff. But... I found that, and I always find this, that when you take a step, the next step reveals itself. I've learned this in, for years, I've learned this, of sitting and reflecting, that you can't always orchestrate and plan for everything to be perfect because everything is not within your control. But everything has its time, you know? And uh, it was time, I think, for me to go live <laughs> on video. And some would say I should be doing a lot more and I will, you know, but let's let's just celebrate them now. And what it did also of doing 50 episodes of this, of discovering that I liked doing this was it meant that I could create a process around it that would make it even easier so that I had a consistent way of doing something. So one of the consistent ways of doing something was I prepped for it. You know, I didn't prep for hours. I prepped for it 15, 20 minutes because always those answers come really easy to me. And that's just from being around for a long time and working with so many clients over the years. You know, it's not anything else. And but being able to create a process to make it even easier meant that I could ask for help and I could make that help work even more effectively. So I know in this process that my process is this, that we gather questions from entrepreneurs that were asked in many different forums in my community, in groups that I run, participants even my one-to-one -one stuff, stuff that comes up and stuff that comes in the ether anyway. So it is always questions from real entrepreneurs and that's, that's gathered and it's gathered in a, in a spreadsheet and then we, you know, we orchestrate them and we plan around them. And so then what happens is I go, yeah, I can answer that question, no problem. And so, so we agree, you know, me and my team agree and uh, the promo post is created and then I spend 15, 20 minutes doing a prep piece, which is laid out kind of bullet point format because I like bullet points. And this is it, you know, this is my prep sheet that I spend 15 or 20 minutes because I think like this. I think sequentially, I think in terms of steps. And then I do it live, which I'm doing now. And then another member of my team downloads this and uploads it to our YouTube channel. And that's actually really important because we got hacked twice this year my own personal Instagram account got hacked and the original How GMW, How Great Marketing Works Instagram account got hacked. So we 
created new accounts. I think they're better named actually now. And But then nothing was lost because we had been downloading them all and we post them to our YouTube channel. So nothing gets lost. The thing I think that I would like to perfect in this process is repurposing it again for uh, blogs. And I think we're very close to cracking that. And I'll, I'll keep you up to date on that because when you are very careful about your voice in, in how it comes out into the world, then I'm possibly a little bit precious maybe <laughs> about my writing or if someone is writing for me and, I, and I've tested a few of these things and I'm kind of coming back to, I think I prefer to write for myself. I spent too long editing, so, and it meant I paused on blogging and I love the written word. I think it's a really important medium. It's great for SEO, all of that, but also it's a really great way to articulate ideas. Whereas something live, often doesn't have uh, the depth of thought and consideration for the choice of words. And I think that's something I'd really like to harness and I'm inspired to do because I see it coming now. I think we're very close to cracking that as a process. The other thing I want to share with you about 50 episodes and that consistency that comes with ease of realizing it's easier is that it inspires you to do something else. It inspires you to understand the layers of your own voice that there are many different things that people come to you for. And so one thing people come to me for is they want to access a direct answer to a direct question because there's so many questions. And so that's one layer of uh, a voice that I have in the marketplace or to help my, uh, how to serve my clients better. But there's another layer to me, as there is for everyone, you know, but another layer is that I love to have these really deep conversations with clients or anybody I meet. I just because I'm curious by nature and I love to I love to know more, you know, and and I appreciate the wisdom of others because so much wisdom in the world has been shared with me and I have benefited from. And I found that I wanted to share that part of myself because, again, my clients kept telling me, you know, when's the book out, Finola? When's the podcast out? So I launched a podcast and we're now at 15, one, five episodes. And that's another layer. But doing these 50 episodes inspired me to go again, you know, to be further present in response to my own customers of what they wanted from me. And, and I'm loving that, you know, I'm loving these layers. And I really encourage you to explore these layers and you don't have to crack it right from the get go. You can just do it one piece at a time. So in that, the podcast, check it out, Your Truth Shared. I think you'll like it. If you like uh, a deeper conversation, I think you'll really enjoy it. And I find that my clients like deeper conversations. So please do go for it. And thank you for, uh, thank you for the thanks here live. Um, I appreciate it. And, um, and the, thing, the last thing I think I'd like to um, share with you from an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial perspective is it has inspired me to be more visible, you know, to just be more visible. It's important part of my purpose in the world and how I want to serve my clients and help make that entrepreneurial journey a little bit easier by showing you the journey before you have to take it, showing you that there's key milestones along the way and that it is possible to make your dreams come true. I do it every day. I live it every day and I dream bigger every day as a result. So I encourage you to find the groove that makes you happy, that creates ease. And that's a first step to a wonderful journey where you serve better in the world and you can make a difference. So go for it. And thank you for your time and your listening. It's meant a lot to me. And have a great day. This has been Ask Finola How. And it's been episode 50. <laughs> so thank you. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Get out in the sun. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.